Okay, I'm back and I'm going to show you guys how to finish this off. Last time I left off I was using Photoshop to size some images. I'm going to do a couple more really quickly uh, just to show you what to do. You open your image, image, image size, figure out the size you want. For me, I'm going to change this um, to uh, 72. And I'm going to change this one to 460 wide. So I want all my images to be 460 wide, 72 resolution. I click OK, and now it's sized correctly. You don't believe it? Then just get your zoom tool and zoom in to 100%. How do you know it's 100%? It'll say 100% right here. All right. File, save for web and devices. Okay. What you want to do is change this to JPEG. I chose medium quality and I put the quality to 52, optimized. Then I hit save. And I'm going to name this one image2 underscore medium dot JPEG. Okay. Then the last thing I'm going to do is change it again. I'm going to do image, image size, the width I'm going to change to 100 height 75, resolution 72. And now this is a thumbnail. File, save for web, hit save, and then I'm going to save this as image2 dot thumb, underscore thumb dot jpeg. Okay, and hit save. So now I have some thumbnails to work with. Now back to Photoshop. I mean back to flash. Okay, on the gallery page I've made a couple of quick changes I want to show you guys. Let's see here. First of all, I'm working on the content layer, the gallery keyframe. I'm going to zoom in to show you what I've done. Okay. This by the way is my loader, okay, which I got from my components library. It was a uh, loader right here under components and Another thing I want to remind everybody of is that unlike um, Rich Shoop in the videos, I've gone to File, Publish Settings, and I'm working, if you go from Formats over to Flash, I'm working in ActionScript version 2.0, which is easier to work with than 3.0, but it is older, uh, older and easier. So you might want to use 2.0 right now, just like I am. That'll help you. Okay, so I'm going to close this. Here's my loader. Instance of loader. If I go to parameters, I see it's a component, and I've named it image loader. So I've given it an instance name, image loader. You can see it from the properties tab, image loader. I named it. Uh, no spaces. Okay, image, and then go right into L for loader. It shows up in the um, parameters tab of my component, right? And I've put in the content path to my first image, which is um, images forward slash image one underscore medium dot JPEG. Okay, and why is that? Well, my images, my website that I'm working on is right here, and in the same directory there's a folder called images, and in that folder um, are my images that I've been working with and renaming. So now when you hit control enter you'll see that the image is automatically loaded into the component. When I go to gallery the image of the buffalo is automatically loaded in and is scaled true because the other two settings were set to true. Okay. Now what I've also done is made a button for my next image, which when I click on it, loads another picture. And I'm going to show you how to do that in the next movie.